The Princess of Wales is now officially the most popular royal. This is a YouGov poll that found that over 75% of people have a positive view of Princess Catherine, with Prince William only slightly behind his wife at 73%. Uh, Cameron Walker, a royal correspondent, is here. Uh, with this one, well, what would you what would you read into that, and as to why? Well, I think it's hardly surprising. Since the start of the year, the Princess of Wales's popularity is up six points with the British public, according to this YouGov poll. And obviously, at the start of the year, she went into hospital for abdominal surgery and has subsequently been diagnosed with cancer and is undergoing surgery. Look, the Princess of Wales, since becoming a, a member of the royal family, has committed no major faux pas. There's been no particular scandal with yeah. her. She always puts family first, uh, and she really champions uh, uh, causes such as mental health, importance of the provision for early years as well. And I hate the phrase born a commoner, but oh. she wasn't born into aristocracy. Uh, she was not born into the royal family. She gave up her old, old life. And yes, that comes with lots of privilege, being a member of the royal family. But it also comes with enormous challenges, such as everybody prying into your private life, particularly when it comes to your health. And I think the British public are very much on side with that. Well, it could be worse. Uh, we look at her figures. So 76% say they have a positive view of the Princess of Wales, um, whereas Prince Harry and Meghan <coughs> continue to be unpopular. 76 compared to 31% having a positive opinion of uh, Prince Harry and only 26%, 50 points less, than Princess Catherine is Meghan. Yes, still not looking great for Harry and Meghan. Prince Andrew is even below, is far below them as well. But when you look at the um, figures around the young people in particular, under 25s, Harry and Meghan are polling more favourably with young people amongst mm -hmm. the British public. But that's not to say <laughs> they are well well liked by young people. Uh, the, uh, the, net, the, the net favourability scores still put them below zero amongst young people. So they do have some way to go if they're going to increase their popularity with the British public. Prince Harry expected to come over to the UK in May for the Invictus <coughs> Games service at St Paul's Cathedral. We still don't know if Meghan is going to accompany him. Mm -hmm. um, doing well on uh, negative views, meaning fewer people have negative views about her than anyone else, is the Princess Royal, Princess Anne. Indeed, yes. The most hard-working royal, if you go by the number of engagements she carries out each year. No nonsense, no fuss. She never gets herself into any kind of uh, arguments or scandals. She, she's she been the member of the royal family who has done a couple of media interviews recently, whereas others have been reluctant to do so. And I think perhaps if you're going to um, have a test of members of the royal family who can conduct a media interview in a correct way, it would be Princess Anne rather than her brother, Prince Andrew, who clearly uh, has made headlines this week with the um, publication of Scoop. Well, he's, yeah. he's, he's the mm. least popular royal of all. Yes. Um, really, a mere 6% of people having a positive view. He'll hate view. that, won't he? He will hate that. And that has been unchanged since that infamous Newsnight interview yeah. with Emily Maitlis in 2019. And I just don't see a way back from those negative no. popularity at the moment. Um, I won't ask you about Princess Catherine's health. We want to give her the space she needs. And I will just say that, of course, we are all really missing her. Seeing those pictures when you started talking really reminds me how much uh, we miss her from our screens. But we can ask you about uh, the King's health. And there are some positive signs, aren't there? Certainly the mood music seems to be that he might be back uh, in public soon. Yeah, there certainly are. If we saw him on Easter Sunday, of course, uh, he was greeting members of the public. Royal sources told me at the time that this should be taken as a view that doctors are very are very positive about the King's health and it is very much going in the right direction, his cancer treatment. They are not ruling out the trip to Australia that's been widely reported in the autumn. Uh, and as you say, that it looks like he's going to be starting to ramp up engagements as we get towards the summer. But of course, the caveat to all of that that is how he responds to cancer treatments, mm -hmm. and at the moment it remains unclear. Yeah. Well, we wish them both very well, of course, goes without saying. Cameron, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much Thanks. indeed. And, and, and also think it's important to point out that uh, the way people vote and how they think of the royals differs by generational gap. Yeah, it? it certainly does. I think younger people have perhaps a slightly more negative view of the monarchy, older yes. people have a slightly more positive view of the monarchy. Okay. Thank you.